So there's there's a little bit of mixed opinions on this. You know, there, it is true that at some points in the cycle, we are more insulin resistant, but it gets too complicated trying to, you know, pick carbohydrates over fats in part of your cycle and then picking fats over carbohydrates. It At the end of the day, like most people, like, you know, me and you know that it comes down to total calories at the end of the day. So basing nutrition around when you're most insulin resistant and stuff can get too complicated. And in my opinion, it's not necessary. But in saying that, you know, before someone gets their period, they're most likely to have the higher cravings, uh, mm-hmm. you know, crave more of the sugary and the like carby foods. Um, and the reason for this is because in the second half of the phase, the menstrual cycle, uh, in the second phase of the menstrual cycle, we are, you know, our body temperatures are higher and we burn more calories at rest. So that contributes to being more hungry. So, you know, if you are feeling hungrier in that second half of the cycle, it is okay to increase your calories by a few hundred, especially, you know, if you are in a fat loss phase, it's still okay to do this. Um, It's probably better than going completely off track and binging on the weekend or something like that. So in regards to basing nutrition around the cycle, like I've, you know, like the training, the middle two weeks, you're probably going to find that you're the most complacent with, you know, probably not being too hungry, being able to adhere to your calories more. And then it after we get towards more of the period and during the period, that may be when we're more hungry or have a little bit more cravings. So it is okay to up your calories at that time if if that's what's help uh, if that's what's gonna help someone adhere to their calories better. Yeah, I think yeah, definitely like the long the long term 